Okay, so yesterday you were talking about getting over there and doing your snow dance. That is true. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I was not expecting this. There was no warning. Yes. Okay, well, I think yeah, you have a little more What does the snow dance this look like? Oh, I was going to say, I, well, I was going to say when you make a background that has snow falling and when we get a decent amount of snow on the Treasure Valley floor. Oh, I'll, I will come over there. Oh, no, I'm going to no. take, I'm going to take Kelsey along with me. I cannot wait for this. Me. Oh, no, 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 no. The I will watch. Snow this, dance oh, no, you're coming with us. To, like, to want snow. It's not after you get it. See, I thought you do it because it's like, it's, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. Snow, or so the, you can do it this week. If that's what you think it is, you can do it this week. It's my perfect. sister and I had a snow dance. We would put our PJs inside out as kids <laughs> yeah, and go in my rule. closet and dance. And that meant we would get a snow day the next I, day. I knew about right. the clothes inside out. Work, we, right? went, yeah. we went with that too. And that it, is so funny. I don't remember what the batting average was. I don't <laughs> yeah. know if it ever worked. But <laughs> I don't know. It was nice so to I'm know. not saying snow day, but I am saying you could do the snow dance and I'm hoping it would work for us this week. <laughs> so first of all, yes, we had that snow that came through our foothills yesterday, draping the hills. They look gorgeous in white. I think it was the first time we had that widespread snow across the foothills. If you ever have pictures you want to share with us, send them to weather at kboi 2 weather at kboi2.com. Point of that whole snow dance thing is I think we're in for another storm system late this weekend and into early next week that could be a major snowmaker for our mountains. So more on that in a few. Right now it's 32 degrees in Boise. We're hovering just right around or above that freezing mark for much of southwest Idaho. 29 in the mountain home, teens to mid-20s in our mountains. Grab a couple extra coats today. It's going to be certainly cold out there. Temperatures dropping into the 20s as we head into the early morning hours. Partly cloudy, otherwise at the bus stop. Enjoy some sunshine today. We're starting off on a quiet note, not just here, but across the entire Pacific Northwest. And that's a welcome change. Still a few isolated showers out there along the coastline of Seattle and up toward Vancouver. Here's our next storm system here. It's going to take the next 24 to 48 hours to really slide in to the Pacific Northwest and across and to our backyard. But it's going to bring the potential for another round of rain and snow. This one much weaker than what we saw yesterday. So a couple things to look forward to. 27 degrees is where we'll be at about 9 o'clock this morning. Highs in the upper 30s around noon. Our high temperature this afternoon will be about 41 degrees. Degrees. Plenty of sunshine out there. A little bit of patchy fog possible this morning. Otherwise, not too bad for your Tuesday. Looking nice. We'll burn off the cloud cover into the afternoon. So today, really nothing to show you on the future cast. Tomorrow, we start out with sunshine. But I think as we head into the afternoon and first part of that evening commute, here's 540. Notice it's a rain-snow mix in the valley. This particular model, though, shows some of this becoming more snow than rain. It will be snow showers. They should not accumulate here in the valley. But we could see some of that through the foothills. The good news, that storm system is kind of going to be a one and done. It's going to zip in, zip out of the area as quickly as it came through. Maybe could pick up about an inch, maybe an inch and a half in some of our mountains. So not a snowmaker like we saw yesterday, but when we're looking ahead to Sunday and Monday, this is what we're going to call the potential for the first major winter storm that's going to impact much of the area headed into late next week, late this weekend. So snow levels will start out on Monday about four to 6,000 feet, too high for snow here in the valley. By Sunday evening and into Monday morning, though, we'll watch for those snow levels to dip to the valley floor. So right now in the extended forecast, we're just going to call this a chance of showers, Sunday, transitioning to rain and snow by overnight Sunday and into Monday. However, it's looking interesting in some of the early models say we could see about a foot of snow in some of the higher elevations. So if this all holds true, and of course we're several days out, could be really great news for the ski areas. Before then, though, we'll get a slight break. Temperatures dipping into the 30s for Thursday and Friday. A nice day Saturday before that unsettled weather makes a return for Sunday. Guys?